Welcome back. I want to welcome in Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback, Pro Bowl quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Trevor, you guys are six and two. You have won five in a row. First place in my old division, the AFC South. How are you feeling about your team right now, pal? Oh, what's up, guys? Uh, man, I'm excited. It's been a, it's been a fun year so far. Uh, you know, we're on a little hot streak right now, so just got to keep it going. Obviously, it's bye week. It's good for us to get healthy and coming back from. We got a, a great team coming in here in San Fran, so just trying to stay on track this week. No doubt, Trevor. A couple weeks ago, you posted a tweet that made some waves. Let's show it when we can. If we can get it, here it is. Y'all keep your opinions, and we'll keep finding ways to win. Hashtag analyst. Trevor, you can be honest with me. What did Peyton say that made you so angry? <laughs> uh, there's a long list. I got a whole list of stuff that, that Peyton has said. Uh, <laughs> nah. Oh, man. I've got a lot of questions about that, actually. I think just anything we can, we can do to add some fuel to the fire, I don't think it's a bad thing. Play with, play with a little bit of edge. That's, I think that's what we've been doing a great job of lately. I love it. I love keep that edge. Even when times are good, Eli, we used to just make up quotes the other team said about us, put it <laughs> on that bulletin board, right? Just do whatever you can to keep guys on edge, a little bit motivated. I like it, Trevor. Trevor, your uh, first career playoff game was against these Chargers that were watching in the wild card round last year. You pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in NFL postseason history. You're down 27 0. You won 31 30. We have a policy of no lying on this show. At 27 to nothing, did you really think you were going to win? That's, that's a tough question. I, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about. I wasn't even thinking about the end result, to be honest. But I will say, I, there was there was no doubt that we were going to come out and play better in the second half. You know, I don't know. Guys weren't thinking about. All right, well, I don't know how we're going to win. It was just. How do we just get out of this funk? Like, how do we make one play to kind of get out of it? But, I mean, I wasn't necessarily thinking we're going to win this no matter what, but I think we had the confidence in that locker room at half, especially after scoring right before half. That was the biggest thing. Yeah. We scored, made 3-7-7, went to half with some confidence, and then we started rolling. Catch the ball. Catch the ball. Hey, uh, Trevor, your Jags have adopted a philosophy that no matter what happens, people say the word good to each other and even after you had four picks in the first half of that game one of your linemen said good to you at that moment did you find his comments motivational or did you just want to punch him in the face yeah <laughs> a little bit a little bit of both i think it brought some brought some humor some much needed humor to the sideline uh you know how the you know how the o-line rooms are they just love to cut up have a good time off the guys um, but yeah, it was it was it was good timing for me. Kind of snapped me out of it. All right, don't take yourself too seriously. Like let's and just knowing too, those guys got my back. You know, they're they're over there making jokes when I'm throwing four picks and we're in a playoff game and down by however many touchdowns. I love it. I love it, Trevor. Stay with us. We're going to commercial. Will you please come back after this? Please, you <laughs> promise? Please come back. Please come back. Welcome back, Trevor Lawrence. Still with us. Trevor, I want to ask you after this play about what you did after that playoff win against the Chargers, but hopefully we can get a little Jets offense going while you're on here. <clears throat> Eli, we got to run the ball a little more effectively. we got to go first down, second down, first down. See, that's not the way to do it. Right, we need more <laughs> yards on first down. Trevor, after that win, you went to Waffle House. Let's watch the video when we can here. Okay, this is, yep, I like it. Apparently, you called ahead and cleared out a space <laughs> for you and your teammates. Do you feel like you've finally made it in life? Now that you can get a reservation at a Waffle House in Jacksonville at 1 a.m. Oh. It's, it's got to be, uh, it's up there on things, things that, I've, that I've done for sure. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's gotten a reservation, but I got to thank Marissa for that one, though. She's the one that called and set it up. Oh, man. But, no, that was good Good memories. Nothing beats a little 2 a.m. Waffle House. No, no doubt. After a playoff win. <laughs> no doubt. Trevor, you and uh, Justin Herbert are two of the best young quarterbacks in the league. What a part of his game impresses you the most? There's Justin right there. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things. I think, obviously, the stuff that – that everybody can see the arm talent, all those things. I um, mean, he can he can sling it. Got one of the stronger arms in the league. Um, but I think just the way he plays the game, he's really smart. You can tell by the way he just processes things. I mean, he gets to his check down, 
really quickly. He's really smart, gets the ball out of his hand. Um, I think he just has got a knack for finding throwing lanes. I think that's always impressive. What, what was that? What was that, Trevor? Is that a, is that a, it was like a, those speed, it was speed a shovel. Up it was like a option. option. It was an option. I had one of those before. Try to work those all the time in practice. You need those. eyes off of tough. it. I think the Chargers it's got tough. that underneath there. Mm. What do you think, Eli? Call it. You think Brees got, got it back? Yeah, Brees got it back. Fourth down. It's fourth down. That's another punt. There's no way I have time to get this. The booze. The booze are coming, Pate. Oh, the no. boo birds. I'm telling you, if you're playing bad, you'd rather do it on the road. You don't want to do it at home. <laughs> no good. Yeah, that's a lot of. Uh, they they have not. They don't have many yards, Pete. I was going to say offensively, Jets. They have not moved it well. Is Aaron, Aaron's Aaron said he's he, he's very active on the headset. Is he taking credit for this, or is he is he is he not on the headset? You think tonight? I, like, don't, I think it depends you can't how it's just going. Just when it goes well, you, know, you have to take. You have to accept this. This is part of his offensive coordinator uh, skills that. Uh, we've been hearing about so trevor please stay with us please i want to talk about justin herbert's hair next trevor lawrence still with us trevor last year justin herbert said that your hair was more impressive than his justin also said that he does it and i quote put that much effort into it it seems like he's implying that you work too hard <laughs> on your hair now we usually don't like to start oh, feuds man. here on the manning cast but please take the opportunity to fire back if you'd like I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he does or doesn't do with hair. You know, I think I think he has nice hair. I'm gonna give him a compliment. I'm not gonna say anything that could be used. But it looks like that picture he's trying hard in that one. So I don't know. <laughs> Trevor, I've done a lot of research for this interview, and I found out that you apparently wore number 16 in high school because you grew up watching Peyton at Tennessee, and that's all sweet and everything, but. What do you think about honoring Peyton by getting a haircut like his? And as a courtesy, we're going to give you a preview when we have a second. I mean, uh, you look pretty good. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even fit in the frame in that one. High and tight, clean cut. I think they gave you my neck also. Yeah, I'm gonna let the natural age do that eventually. They gave, they gave you my neck and forehead and the hair as well. <laughs> Come on, Just I just think about and... it, Trevor. That would be that. That would uh -huh. really be the way to honor him. I mean, the the 16 is not good enough. We gotta get the haircut. Uh, yeah, I need to. I need to fully commit to it. No, you're right. You're right. We'll see. Maybe maybe that's an off season thing. Ooh. All the way. Hey, what do you when you go to the barber? What do you ask for? Easy, easy. Trevor, I got to ask you, look, you know this Jets defense, obviously their offensive. Okay, that's it. We, we got it. We got the hair thing. <laughs> you had a great up. December win against the Jets last year on the road. How do you attack a defense as talented as this Jets defense is? I mean, you can't hold the ball very long, as Justin Herbert just found out. Yeah, it was interesting. You know, the situations of our game, too, was, it was later in the year. Um, I mean, really a must-win game for us, and it was super rainy, cold not great conditions. I remember going in, it was just, how can we take care of the ball, manage the game, um, take completions, I think, especially early in the game, get the ball in space to our guys. It's a, it's a big, I'm sure it's similar this year, it's the same same defense, but it was a big zone. They mix in man, third down situationally, but zone team keeps in front of them. They're really smart, play with their eyes well, and they try to let their pass rush go. So as long as you can keep in the pass rush out of the game. I think that's a that's a big thing. Um, and then just get yeah. the ball in space. And then you, you have guys that will make plays eventually, yards after the catch, all those things, the things that we emphasize, running the ball. Um, and then when you get your shots, you don't get many against defenses like this, just the way they play it top down. But when you get them, you try to at least keep them honest, even if you don't hit all of them, try to, try to push the ball downfield some and, and keep them honest. I was always Every, concerned. Eli, I was always concerned when you played a team – that the defense was talented, their offense was struggling. It's around now when that Jets defense is going to, they're going to take a chance, right? They're going to squat down on an out route, right? They're going to jump a quick slant route and take a chance. And if you're throwing a timing route, if you're throwing, you know, you know, a three-step drop, one, two, three, throw, and that corner jumps the route, 
it's going the other way. So I never liked playing against teams with crappy offenses and and with talented defenses, and, and that's what that's what the Jets are. So uh, you know, Justin's got to be careful here, kind of in these you know the second half because Sauce can you know, jump on in a heartbeat. So. And Trevor, we mentioned your comeback against the Chargers in the playoffs last year. You threw four touchdowns in the second half of that game. What do you think's the key kind of going against this Chargers defense? How can they get something going here? Yeah, yeah I mean, I think it's, it's similar up front. You know, they have some good you know, the offsides there. Yeah, completion. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah they're good pass rushers. That's, that's always the first thing I think as a quarterback and as a coordinator or coach, whoever you are, making a game plan. You think about those guys up front who can kind of wreck a game. So you handle those guys. And then in the back end, they're a defense that really likes to do a lot of different things. So um, you're, you could catch them where there might be a miscommunication, where they're trying to disguise something so much where you might have a guy running free or take advantage of a quarter, quarter, half deal or whatever it is. We had a couple of plays, playoffs like that against them. But, um, I mean, they're a, good, they're a good team. They had some good – Things scheme for us as well. You know, they had some good disguises that got me in the first half. But then I think just settling in, um, how do you kind of see what their plan is when it is a defense that does a lot of different things? Um, and then kind of yeah. go from there where the, the Jets are at now and make the adjustments. We need to do that. We need to run the ball. Run the run ball and get 10 yards. This guy, yeah, Chris Hall is averaging sure. almost six yards a carry. Just give it to him every time. I mean, the math is there. Eventually, you're, you'll get a first down. Trevor, this may yeah, be the closest the Jets. Is, Trevor, this may be the closest the Jets get to the red zone. So, if they score a touchdown in this game, it doesn't have to be this series. Do you think it's going to be a run or a pass? We will put that picture. Oh, no. Oh, I thought you were going to put the picture of him with my hair up there. I'm glad we don't have that. <laughs> we don't have that. Can he catch a screen pass? Do you think ah. they'll score if they score a touchdown on a run play or a pass play? Just keep it simple. Ah, keep it simple. Uh, I'm gonna go high percentage here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go run. The next score, right? Okay. Is that what we're saying? Well, no, yeah. it's gonna be late in the fourth quarter. So Eli, in the fourth <laughs> quarter, with a minute to go, the Jets score. He says run. Put, okay. put Trevor up there next to the or Terminator. Run. Got it. Second and Ready. ten here. All right. I, I think we're. I think we're. Don't you think we're in four down territory here? I think it's really I, – I think we can give the prediction, will the Jets get into the red zone? Yes or no on this on this drive right here. Just even get into it. Gonna help. The flag's going to move us further away. Who is that on? He's, is that on the Jets? He's, he's saying it's on the well, – it's got to be on the Jets, right? Illegal formation, offense. Yeah. Number 89 covered the tight end. That's not going to help. Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, you played two straight games in London, came away with two wins. You haven't lost since. The Jags have now played in London 11 times, so most of any team. How do you feel about being London's team? Bonus points if you can answer in a British accent. Well, bro, I love being London's team. <laughs> uh, not my best. Not my best work. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, that was great. That was great. I didn't, but, uh, we didn't think you would do it. Yeah, it's... <laughs> No, you guys, you guys got it out of me. Um, it's it's cool. I like being I like being Jacksonville's team. I'll say that uh, this is a great city and love being here. But it really is cool playing over there. It's it's always a fun time. The fans are awesome. It's cool to see a different part of the world. People that love football, you know, it always kind of surprises me that you know that far from home and people are still amped about it. So it's it's fun. It's it's always a great trip for us. It was great this year. Got two wins out of it and got and came home. Kind of got out of our little slump. So. It was good for us, but like I said, I love being love being Jacksonville's team, but it's that's always fun every year going there. All right, third and eight here. A little pressure, Pate. Let's do something. Run it, run it, Zach. Oh, run it. Oh, run it. We gotta go. We gotta I'd be go four down this. here. We gotta go for this. Let's go for this. Trevor, uh, does uh, uh, in your ear, um, are they telling you on third down, hey, we're in four down territory? Is Doug or, or Press, um, are they telling you that usually? When you're going to go for it on fourth down, are they telling you on third down? You know, it depends on the situation. I think, I think half the time it's they have an idea that they're planning on going for it based on the play call, and you you kind of know either way. It's like okay, if it's third and six and we call a run play, or third and yeah, five we call a run it. play, you're like all right, so go down, you know. But they do a good job of talking to me. But sometimes it comes up where it might be 
third and ten and you're not positive and then you get eight yards and it goes to the fourth and two, then it's kind of a surprise. But they do a good job communicating. Got it. Should have gone for that, E. Should have gone for that. Trevor, stay with us, pal. Stay with us, buddy. Welcome back, Trevor. That, of course, was you auditioning to be the third host of the Manning cast. Look, you didn't get the job because you wouldn't answer our question. I'll give you one more chance. Do you think a Jaguar could defeat a horse? Definitely. Is that, is that better? <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, I disagree. Yes. I disagree, but but uh, at least you answered. <laughs> at least you answered. Last time, Honestly, last yeah. time we played though, it didn't go well for us. So, can't, can't, is that a real can't jaguar? Is that a real jaguar in, behind you? you it is. Arnold had donkeys, my, uh, and you got a jaguar in your room. Well, it's not real. It's a paint. It's a painting. But my my brother and sister in law did it. So, yeah, they did that for me. Very nice. All right, Trevor, a lot of people have tweeted their favorite favorite Trevor Lawrence lookalike, but I want you to take a look at this one when we have a chance. All right, we're going to show it here. Trevor, did we make a mistake in this interview? Should we have been addressing you as Duke of Orbino this whole time? What do you think? <laughs> I haven't seen this one, but it's good. That's good. <laughs> You like that one? Who's the Duke of Ur Urbino? What is Urbino? I'm not. Uh, you guys got more info? Don't ask, you don't ask me. A relative. I promise you, he doesn't know. He was a he was Trevor. a Duke. He was a Duke. Trevor, Trevor. If you don't if you don't like the Duke of Urbino, okay, we actually have worse news for you. All right, Nick Wright on Fox has been calling you quote the Prince who was promised, and now it's your official nickname on the website Pro Football Reference. Has the prince who has promised called on as a nickname in the Jaguars locker room? Definitely not. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> heard that one. Good answer. That's Good. a unique one. He's, he's got it. Yeah, that one hasn't. That one hasn't caught on. <laughs> the prince who has promised. I don't. Even, I don't get what's going on. We're just. Yeah, let's just talk football now. All right. We're in a two-minute drive. Uh, can we get a not uh, like a three and out here and just talk some ball? I, I'm, I'm in favor of it, believe me. Right, uh, anytime perfect. you have to go to question 12 for a guest, <laughs> that means it's some bad offense. <laughs> Showing double mug blitz there, Trevor. Double mug. I think they're coming. Are they coming or dropping out? Are they coming or dropping out? Dropping, Call it. They're dropping. It's dropping out. Hey, you said they were going to come with some pressure. Put them on the panel. Put them on the panel for that. On the panel. <laughs> ah. oh, really? For standard dropping out, we got to put them on the panel? That, that's yes, yes. He gets on the panel. Nobody. No, I mean, only, only a only a Pro Bowl quarterback Watch knows if they're dropping out. I, I thought they were right. coming. I've lost my touch. They probably right. get another little better here. here. Third one. and twelve. They bring bring in pressure or playing zone right here. Third and twelve. The Jets no. junk zone. No pressure. Drop I, think, in, I agree. Drop, no in, pressure. drop in seven. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're gonna bring more than four. Right. Yeah, I think it's going to be. All right. That's two, that's two accurate predictions. He definitely gets on the panel. Wow. All right. We'll put you on the panel. That was, that was dangerous there. <laughs> we'll put you on the panel. You got this good hair. We got to get the hair on the panel. Look how much There's you a, have a small. I appreciate it. Uh, that Arnold. face size is not accurate. I've seen you in person. Your face is way bigger than Arnold. <laughs> but. Uh, Matt McAfee. Pat McAfee is so jealous. He needs a prediction panel on his broadcast. He can't get one. We don't have the budget, I guess, to get McAfee a prediction panel at Omaha. I'm embarrassed, Pat. The prediction panel is coming your way. Uh, can't promise you you'll have Trevor Lawrence with it, but we're going to send you one for your college broadcast, pal. So, sorry we, uh, we haven't afforded one. We're staying for the Jets' offense. All right, good. Trevor, you got to stick with us? For sure, for one more series, it's, it's, it's optional. See the, it's, uh, we'll see this drive. Yeah, I want to see this Jets drive. <laughs> All right. So just, you I you feel want good to see it. a Jets drive? No one has said that on, all year long. We're running it in. I want to see a one minute three and out. You want to see another three and out? Hey, Trevor, do you have a list of plays kind of that, you, that you've given you know, your coaches? Hey, I, I'm in a rut. Th these are plays I like. These are breather plays to get me back in a rhythm. You had that kind of listed on the game plan sheet? 
Yeah, usually every week. Yeah. Started. Uh, usually every week we talk about, you know, whether it's completion plays, depending on the situation, like let's get in a rhythm, just like you said. Yeah, and just things where I can get the ball out quick, bread and butter stuff where we can move all of our guys around to because we just, it's our core concepts that we're good at. So, yeah, we got a whole list of probably some are empty, some aren't, you know, some are free release, some are 60 protection, whatever. Um, but we probably have 12, at least 12, 13, 14 plays of those every week. Yeah, I feel like those are the plays that, you know, the Jets need to get to with Zach. But at the same time, somebody's just got to make a play for me. You know, bail them out a little bit, right? It's, it's you know, it's not it's not easy. Defense is playing well. Somebody make a play for him. Give me a give me a right. give me a 50 50 ball and a jump ball here. I like third and four. What do you like? I like empty. I like empty. I think it kind of spreads out uh, the, the Chargers. It's kind of easier to see. What they're doing, they're going to keep the back in the backfield, but at least we're in a little spread. we got a detached tight end. How about a little backside slant here? All right. Backside slant. they got both. Come down, uh, safety. Come down, safety. Here. Come down yeah. safety. A little curl route. How about that? A little Y Hank. He checked the slant. He checked the slant. Y right? Hank. He went slant, right? It was press coverage. Wilson kind of won late. He reset back to the hook. Feet and eyes move together. You like that? Feet and eyes move together. Ooh. Wow, wow. Look at, those. look at that fast feet right there. <laughs> well, I mean, look, he looked the slant. He checked the slant. See? Did he get off it feet. too quickly, Pete? Did he two get hand, off? No, no, no. He, he had did. two hands on the pocket. He was watching our last segment. He heard me talk about two hands on the pocket. Appreciate the viewership, Zach. All right, now throw it away. Screen. Screen. That was there you go. the screen. Take that. Didn't, Take that. And fall for it. Good, good, Trevor. Good job. Trevor, do y'all have any run plays anymore? Or is everything just RPO in football? Is this? Is every, there are no more run <laughs> plays anymore, right? Everything's RPO. No, no, we got a lot. We got a lot of straight up runs. All right, good. You know, I think good. They're starting to get more. They're starting to get tougher with the calls. Uh, you know, the officials calling linemen down downfield. Down so I think that's, yeah, yeah. They're starting to really look out for that. I think it's like a, a yard and a half, two yards is all you got. So you got to. It's tough. It puts those linemen in a bind. That a way. Oh, you see, we got to make that play for him now. We got to get it to third and four. Third and ten. Yeah, third and four and third and ten are way different. They also, pay, don't you think? I mean, they've they've thrown everything's been slants. Everything's been they've thrown a lot of quick outs, hitches. I, I don't think they want to. They don't want to hold the ball for a long time. Like like you chip and chip and let them throw the ball down the field. Throw a post route. Throw a go route. Not that everything's. You know these, these these defensive backs aren't they're not challenged at all. No one's running running by the by them a little, at all. Inside technique on Wilson to take away the slant. How about a little slant and go up top, fire in the hole. Not chipping either. No chip. He lied to you too. He told you they were going to chip, didn't they? He told me they were going to chip. No Trevor, chip. When, heard that. When, for, when former has been quarterbacks call you to interview you for. Uh, a show on ESPN2. Do you, do you tell them the truth or do you just cliche them to death? If you're on the bus, if you're on the bus and their teammates around, right, what's, what's the go-to? You just, just to lie to them? Give them a bunch of nonsense until <laughs> they hang uh, up? Yeah, you got to do a little bit of both. <laughs> so maybe you guys are getting <laughs> some bad intel. <laughs> Jeez. We got, you know, uh, he said they were going to chip them. He said they were going to chip. Third and 12, you don't hmm. chip them. All right, really Trevor. There, you gotta, it? you gotta get some sleep. You got, you got the Niners coming up. So uh, appreciate you coming on, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you guys. Good luck, Enjoy pal. It. Yeah. Good, Good luck, rest of the right. See you, man. Good luck.